General Ross is in a secret conference with Bruce Banner and Rick Jones. Betty Ross is there too, but she's a girl, so our narrator doesn't need to mention her. The General is reviewing footage of the Hulk. Specifically, the fact that he's frickin' unstoppable. I've been ordered to capture that rampaging monster, and I need your help. It, uh, it's a very complex problem. More complex for some than for others, but the General doesn't need to know that. Although, if he did know that making Bruce mad brings the Hulk on, maybe he'd lay off and let Betty date whoever she wants, even Bruce. But deep underground, Tyrannus, Lord of Darkness, has his eye on Betty. Her love for that scientist will help me conquer the Earth. But first, to the Fountain of Youth, where I will drink the magic elixir which keeps me eternally young. He has his own fountain of youth. Do the little guys get to use it too? When the accursed magician Merlin banished me centuries ago, little did he suspect that I would find these hidden magic waters and a race of subservient creatures who have slavishly created for me these, the mightiest weapons of all time. Merlin. When you saw him, did he look like Colin Morgan or Sam Neill? His plan for these weapons is, what else? Conquer the surface world. With Betty Ross as a hostage, Banner would hesitate to turn America's atomic might against me. How, by a ruse, I shall bring her to me. Making us believe the president controls the nuclear button is the result of one of the most successful disinformation campaigns of all time. In reality, Bruce Banner is in charge of it. A visitor named Mr. Tyrannus appears on the base. He says he's an archaeologist. The uh, general said you were interested in the cliff caves. Yes, but Betty Ross has offered to guide me. I just don't cotton to that fellow, Rick. You and me both, Doc. I wonder why, just because that hair makes him look like Magneto. They'll follow him. They went in here without any equipment. Sounds fishy. Rick, look at that boulder. It's blocking the passage. <laughs> It won't watch. Yet they got past it. Bruce says the only way we're going to get answers is by getting past that. And he only knows one way to do it. Bruce enters the lab and induces his incredible transformation. For, for your sake, Betty. Where Bruce Banner stood, the Hulk. He was in such a hurry, he forgot to change his pants. He gets them past that rock in seconds. Where did this machine come from? And, and you, you look different somehow. Everybody looks different in the dark, Betty. Of course I do. We are in my kingdom, and you are my captive. Observe, your father worried about you. Betty, where are you? She is in my domain, deep underground. My legions even now prepare to attack your surface world. Defy me, and she died. Yes, all of Earth's military might is right here at this base under Thunderbolt Ross's command. Another classified secret he's blabbing all over the place. Wait, Hawk. Look, it's them. Help! Help! Alas, monster, you're too late. <laughs> the strange machine heads for the center of the Earth with Hulk and Rick following behind. What? It's the Hulk. This volcanic gas will fix him. I, I can't see. It renders them both unconscious. When they wake up... On your feet, slave. Defy me and the girl dies. Now, up and do my bidding. The strange creatures dress the Hulk as a gladiator. Off to the arena with an asbestos shield. Tyrannus will make him fight a giant, fire-breathing robot. Completely berserk, the Hulk turns on the spectators themselves. My mistake. Fight was too strong a word. Tyrannus holds a gun to Betty's head and the Hulk backs off. As long as she's threatened, he can't do anything but comply. While the Hulk is doing slave labor, Tyrannus has gone to drink his magic water again, leaving Betty with a couple of guards. Hail Tyrannus, who commands that the girl Betty be brought to him. No! No, no! Help! Hi, the girl. Keep screaming. Oh, Rick, it's you. 
I was waiting for her to say, aren't you a little short for a stormtrooper? She couldn't tell by the voice that it was Rick. Now he needs to let the Hulk know that Betty is out of danger. Get up, you big lug. Betty's safe with me. Hulk, you must fight back. It's our only chance. Here they come. <laughs> The Hulk charges into battle. Tyrannus will never let us escape. Hurry, out of the way, fast. You fools, find the monster again or you die. Look no further. Betty is out of Tyrannus' control, so the Hulk can do whatever he wants down here. Three fugitives hurry inside the Boar capsule and it thunders toward the surface of the Earth. Here's a question for the ages. Why doesn't Betty Ross tell her father all the things the Hulk does for her? Why doesn't she stand up for him and tell Thunderbolt to leave the poor guy in peace? He just rescued her and stopped an invasion. But General Ross doesn't know that unless Betty tells him. Oh, I know Rick could tell him and probably will, but he's just a kid. Everybody knows they don't know nothing. While Rick takes Betty home, the Hulk is out in the desert trying to figure out what to do next. The ground underneath me, some strange force, it's... it's... At last, the Matter Transformer has returned the Hulk to me. <laughs> yeah, it brought him, and it'll only do it once. Hold your fire! Hulk, stop. We mean you no harm. You lie. Tyrannus the Mighty does not lie. How the mighty have fallen. Tyrannus looks like a talking mummy. Somebody hasn't been drinking enough water. The Mole Man is captured by magic fountain. Behold me as I once was. And with your help I can be again. I offer you honor and sanctuary if you destroy the Mole Man. A minion reports to the Mole Man that the Hulk and Tyrannus have joined forces. But the Hulk is going to have to do all the work. Tyrannus is too busy moping about how he used to look. Awake, my friend. There is much to be done. Run, go, go away. Hurry, else I perish, and with me, your friend, behold. He's awake. At last. It's Rick and Betty Ross. Do you remember? Yes, it's Rick and Betty Ross. They got married an hour ago, and Rick took her name. Listen, Hulk, we're prisoners. Can't you see? It's the Mole Man. Go get him, Hulk. What can one man do against my legion? One man can't do much. One Hulk is a different story. The freeze gun! Activate it! The Mole Man's freeze guns have stilled the Hulk forever, or have they? The Hulk was frozen in suspended animation until he drifted out to sea, and when the ice melted, it was 20 years later. Wait, that was something else. He was just smashing a bunch of big metal guns. You think ice is going to stop him? Brainless, brainless, craven coward. Desert and you'll face the Mole Man's wrath. The minions stop to have a round table discussion and try to decide if that was worse than facing the Hulk's wrath. While they're doing that, the Mole Man has a really weird robot that's fighting the Hulk to a standstill. One last desperate run. And then, oblivion. I'm pretty sure that was the magic pond. Is it gone? Incredible. It's... It's not the Hulk or the robot. But... But... Bruce Banner. Where in the world are out of it, am I? And him without his machine to change back. I must find Betty and Rick. Now I remember... They are Tyrannus' captives, and this is his subterranean realm. Oh man, keep the beard, Bruce. You look terrific. Hold, Tyrannus. Give me that ray gun. 
out of my way. I must recapture the enchanted fountain without the hawk's help. The other two, where are they? Oh, to drink the magic elixir and regain my lost youth. My man, if you don't answer him, your youth is going to stay lost. Behold, I at once looked like this. Yes, I know. Now, where are Betty and Rick? Those two. I, I sent them to the surface with my matter transmitter. Regard you. You've broken my statue. You mean the one the Hulk smashed to bits? Good thing he has a spare. Babbling, senile old fool. My poor broken statue. <laughs> Moisture from inside the head. <laughs> There's enough magic elixir here to regain my youth. I must hurry. I must hurry. I hope he says, my precious. That'd be perfect. Tyrannus is restored, and he's focused on his war with the Mole Man. Bruce is trying to quietly make his way to the transfer machine. I said quietly. Look, a spy. Stop, you fools. Bruce's anger triggers the incredible change once more and he becomes the rampaging hulk never mind seeking refuge the hulk comes upon the complex matter transmitter and crawls to the top unwittingly turning it on and the transmission begins finally the waves of subtronic energy cease the transport is complete restored once more to the unsuspecting surface world the hulk sleeps who won who cares as long as they keep it down there? Now I'm going to play this last bit of the episode for you, after which I'll translate. And the green-tinted giant rises from his slumbers, crawling back into the world of men. Rick! Where's Rick? Have to find him. Roaring with anguish and frustration, the Hulk hurls defiance at the hostile human world. No one is listening. Translation? We only have a few seconds of runtime left. Our turn in deadline is here, and we have no idea how to end this thing. Okay, stay put.